And now we've got an exciting set coming up. Speaking of scary paths, yeah. Tickle versus Seesaw. I have already heard oh. the Seesaw chants oh. coming out today. See. Any of you who, yeah, if you're at a See. port, that, I love the BC chants at port, by we the way. We had so many good ones. Y'all killed it. I love that so uh, much. Shout out to Cube. He makes them all. Uh, well, not all, but like he makes a lot of them. They're so funny. He's definitely the ringleader. <laughs> we're we're gonna hear, we're in, gonna hear a lot. In of the them. middle of top eight, he was just turning around, yelling a word, and the entirety of BC just knew what to do. I love the Alberta chance. Who um, is going on? Sam, Samuel stole my phone. <laughs> Samuel fiending for other people's contact um, list right now. He okay. Is, yeah. But uh, he's he's just trying to network, you know. Yeah, he's trying to network. I'm like you know famous or whatever. So and, Samuel's yeah. just trying to. <laughs> He's just trying to get it. He's just trying to get That's it. That's how you got the Gallon hoodie, right? It was. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Gallon. Yeah, that. shout out to Gallon. I love these guys. Man, this is going to be a really fun. I'm really excited to watch. Yeah. Really, really excited for this. And it's not just because I love Incineroar. Incineroar is funny. Incineroar is fun. -y. He's one of the best characters to cast as well. Oh And yeah. to watch because like oh, yeah. he can be comically down in a set. Then he gets one grab and like it's so over. And then yeah, it's so funny. Okay, so. Uh, a fun thing about Tickle, for those of you who are out of region, you see Pyra and Mithra on the character select screen, you're only going to see Pyra in the game. <laughs> it's only Pyra. Tickle does not play Mithra. The only time Tickle will bring out the Mithra is to recover occasionally, and that's it. They're proving that Pyra is actually good enough to be a character played at high level in and of her own right. What were they thinking, giving her an altar that is even better? I... I don't know. Um, Look, she needs it. Apparently, yeah. She's like Zelda in Melee, right? Sure, <laughs> yeah. If Sheik was like Fox, Sheik, if, Sheik had Fox in the back yeah, pocket. Yeah, if Sheik was Fox and... With a uh, sword. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm excited for this one. We got uh, Tickle. Uh, both of these players were at Pinnacle. Unfortunately, Seesaw did make top eight, but unfortunately had to DQ. Um, so got seventh at Pinnacle, and Tickle, I think, got third at Pinnacle. Um, so, and Seesaw did really well at Port, I think, actually, now yes, that I'm remembering he did. it. So. I actually saw him. I casted him on stream oh, against nice. MK Leo. Oh, that was cool. a pretty hype set. Oh, that's he was awesome. really making some stuff happen, made yeah. MK Leo work for it. Thankfully, yeah. this matchup's going to be a little bit easier than MK Leo. Nothing against Tickle, but like, Come on, it's MK Leo, you yeah, know? That's, that's MK Leo right So he's got there, the power so. up right now. Yeah. Pretty even so far. Uh, being out 130 as any character gains in Cineroar is uh, not a fun place to be in. But I like the side B right now. And there's the footstool. Doesn't quite find anything off of it, but I like what I'm seeing from Tickle so far. It was kind of an awkward situation. Yeah. Getting stuck on the platform there is like, well, I just have to wait for the, the get up. I do like that Tickle didn't try to save it and overextend it and just went for the get-up read. Unfortunately, not able to get it. And now Seesaw is able to get the dash attack and take this first stock. And now you've got a Max Rage Cat. Watch out for that revenge, because you know what comes next. That's so scary to be in, because like you get, oh my gosh, you get to around 60%, you're at kill percent. Mm -hmm. With Max Rage and Cinderor. Tickle not going to let it happen, though. Eftel will clean up that stock nicely. We're back to uh, even percentage. Yeah, that's really important for Tickle. Not letting Seesaw get too far away. And now those down airs and the flaming end able to just slowly put on pressure. But somehow, Seesaw swung out of the corner. That was getting scary. Yeah, you have to mix up how you're approaching, how you're getting at a disadvantage as Incineroar a lot. Um, and Seesaw is really good at that, like keeping you guessing. And you have to as Incineroar, right? But oh, that's an up smash. Not quite going to do it. 102. We just call that free rage, baby. That's Not enough true. knockouts to kill there, but if you get a grab in the corner, it is so over. And you can already kind of see Seesaw looking for that side B in the corner. Uh, hello? Uh, sometimes you just hold out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's one of those situations uh, where you're in. Oh, the double into the forward air. And was... now back in this game. A Ooh. lot of damage. That was a weird... Why did... Maybe it fell from ledge? I uh, thought that would pop up. I'm not sure. Usually that's a true combo right into the Cheeto fingers. Unfortunate for Seesaw. Fortunate for Tickle, though, as he's doing quite a good job right now. Double down air into the up smash. Oh, not quite going to do it, though. Oh, my goodness. Nobody goes for that, which I guess is kind of why it worked. The super armor is going to save Seesaw on the recovery there. 
but now you're on your last legs. You're going to need a little bit more than a single revenge play, and the up air tickle not even letting it get started. Nuh uh. Um, we saw Mithra zero times. Yep. There is no Mithra. Normally we see it once. There's no need. I guess that's kind of interesting because Incineroar is not really edge guarding you, so Tickle doesn't really need Mithra. Yeah. Um, usually, like, if you're dying from Incineroar, <laughs> like, it's, it's so over. If you're dying from Incineroar off stage, Incineroar is coming with you. Yeah. <laughs> so you're getting like up bead or it's a back air deep in the blast zone and Incineroar like is planning on coming with you. So yeah, you don't need it. Yeah. But now we're going to Hollow Bastion. I love that transition screen, by the way. It's great. Yeah. So uh, fun little thing about Tickle and Hollow or any middle platform is I'm expecting we'll see Tickle. Tickle, for one, loves that middle platform because what he's going to do is he's going to sit on that middle platform and he's going to go tickle mode where he just spams down air on that middle platform. Down air and those down tilts and he looks for up smash or up air. So Seesaw is going to have to be ready for that. One thing we did see is right at the beginning of the game, Seesaw immediately got a revenge. Just showing the awareness a little bit of Tickle's game plan. But you can talk about awareness of game plan all you want. The truth of the matter is that Tickle is up 1-0 on this set. So Seesaw is going to need to do a little bit more. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing so far, though. Nice upbeat from Tickle, making it back to stage. Um, finish the game. Um, there's the side B. Wow. Yeah, that's going to do it, yeah. Not even close. That's the Incineroar life. A 92% got a decent amount of rage, but the down air through the platform. That is the pressure of Pyra on this stage. You have to respect it at any percent. That's exactly what I was expecting to see from Tickle there. And Tickle was down not too long ago, already has a nice lead, uh, bringing himself back into this game. Nice side view, looking for a second one on that platform, but Seesaw ready for it. Both these players oh, you are see, swinging. <laughs> you see Tickle camping the platform there yeah. and trying to get back. I love Seesaw's just like, nope, near you out. Nope, near you out. Yeah. We got a third one. Can we get one more? Wait, near him out of the middle real quick for the people. Or, or that works too. All right. <laughs> Grab. You know There's a reason you're on the stage right now, not me. <laughs> yeah, Tickle in that middle platform. I can't name a more iconic duo if I'm being honest. And look at that. You see that? He's looking for yeah. it. He's looking for it. He has one goal <laughs> in mind. Look at him. <laughs> I saw three downers and two down tilts. <laughs> Seesaw wants nothing to do with this. He's just waiting it out. And now it looks like, ooh, ooh man. grab release. Man, you really wanted that throw there. Uh, I know Seesaw probably wanted an early kill, but now you have to deal with Pyro again on stage. Yeah, and now the percents are even up, which means Tickle gets to camp that platform. Oh! We jab three around here. <laughs> Yeah, letting go a little too early. Uh, that would have been a kill for Seesaw too, which is kind of tough. Um, letting go oh, the there shield we go. too early. Ooh, DI mix up not going to be enough. 148 though, can we see another just barely at 166, keeping it completely even. But Seesaw's got to take this stock first or it's over. Yeah, looking at his winner's side stock. Or uh, winner side life right now, and you gotta make it back here. I like that side beat from Tickle. You could have caught uh, Incineroar's recovery there, but Incineroar, uh, Seesaw doing a good job of making it back. Uh oh! Oh! How big is this cat? He missed. 40%! Or maybe going for the juggle. Possibly. Look at this. <laughs> it's kill percent! Oh! Fell out! Seesaw was in the air, in the right place at the right time. But the pressure from Tickle is continuing to mount. Seesaw needs to make something happen here. You got to get away from the Tickle zone right now. <laughs> that middle platform is the Tickle zone. I would not want to be there if I'm you. Yeah, I don't think Seesaw's trying to get tickled right now, but uh -huh. a 101, that is a lot of rage. Good reaction, knowing that Tickle is going for one thing and one thing only. This is crazy. There we go, Blazing and able to set up. But now, yeah, Tickle's back in the middle. You know what's so funny is this has turned into um, oh, there's the dash attack. We'll seal it out. Jump scare dash attack. That move is so fast. And Tickle taking that game. This is... That's the... Fuck? I, I thought that was it, but they're sitting down like they want Hunt a little bit more. I guess we'll see. Uh, well, well, we'll see what they do in a second. We might be in best of five territory, which could make things really interesting. I think my man Sherwood's got to hop off for another match. I, yeah. uh, let me know. How, oh, how'd your first one go? Did you win? 
A one, uh, one, one so far. Okay, okay, we're at one, one. We gotta make it to two, two. Uh, and now I got my man Nasta hopping on. Man, I've just got the whole gauntlet of commentators with me today. This is great. Hey, yo, hey, yo. And it looks like Tickle has been cooking this set, doing some things I haven't really seen from I other Pyramithra man. Did, did you see, yeah, we're back at the same stage, the way Tickle is just camping that middle platform with down air? Oh, it, it, it's absolutely disgusting. And just seeing a player kind of solo play uh, Pyra for the most part over utilizing Mithra. Oh my god. Oh, what, what are you thinking of Tickle? What's going on there? I feel like for Tickle uh, We don't need it Right, I think this dude just likes yeah. Pyra. It's just that simple Doesn't need Mithra to be a top threat in the region up against Seesaw who is an absolute terror in bracket Went toe-to-toe -to -toe with MK Leo last week really made him work for it and now Tickle is up against Seesaw and doing pretty well. Yeah, I can see Seesaw kind of slowing down the game a little bit and definitely need to be patient here. Tickle is up two games at the moment, want to maintain that winner's run and able to take that first dog. Yeah, 100%, 89% on Seesaw. We, we keep talking about this. The thing with this character is that just, it's just free rage, right? Either he's dead or he's not. This character is a binary state. And until you flip that bit, he is an absolute terror and the game is even no matter what. And one of the heaviest characters in the game, mind you. But that doesn't matter when you have the power that Pyra has. Stock just absolutely deleted. Yeah, absolutely. And now Tickle is back in this game. I love that jab. I think trying to get the air dodge to come out, a directional air dodge could honestly have ended it right there. And again, with these jab confirms from Tickle, very interesting. Yeah, trying to go for some sort of mix up here, you know, trying to catch your opponent, kind of lacking <laughs> a little bit. What's the corner option? Seesaw so scary in the corner, that Nair going to rinse and repeat. Not too bad for uh, Tickle, but you gotta be careful of the Cheeto fingers and the up angle going to close it out so early. No bouncing off the stage this time. Yeah, that's Incineroar 101. You have to be ready for that. And talk about 101 with Incineroar, the damage output you can get. But oh my goodness, the scoop that Tickle was able to get there. Yeah, really showing why he camps that center platform, right? This character is so strong in that place. And I think that's going to kill. Yes, it is. No amount of DI is going to save you at 156. Oh my goodness, but it is such a close game at the moment. Great catch there with the Darkest Lariat. Ooh, the air dodge kind of iffy. And the grab from Seesaw. Oh, I love it. The damage difference is huge here right now. Tickle kind of getting thrown for a loop here. Able to scoop and make it back towards stage. Seesaw is back in this set. Reading so well. That's what you have to do with Incineroar. You have to make those hard reads, those hard callouts. The best Incineroar players are the people who can consistently do that. The double revenge. This could be it right here. Can you get the hit? Oh, tries to get the grab there. Caught off the side. Trying to get something to connect. Going for the darkest lariat, but still caught on shield. It is anybody's game here right now. Still alive. The air dodge dash attack not going to be enough. 116. This is turned around, and now the revenge is gone. You're going to have to work a little bit harder, Seesaw. But Tickle finds another confirm, and the up air closes out the set. Absolute dominance there from Tickle. Moving on in loser side. Or not loser side, winner, winner side. side. Oh, my goodness. So that's uh, what going to bring to top 32, right? Because that was top 64. Man, I'm yeah. so good at math. The math is mathing. <laughs> the math checks out. <laughs> so how you doing, Nasta? Uh, Welcome to the club. I'm doing good. Glad to be here. My first time here for a Smash event in BC. Amazing to be here. Finally able to little live up to my uh, PNW yeah, say, there we go. caster title. Now, yeah. we've, we've both hit all three now, right? Yeah. We got the BC, we got the Washington. I don't know if you've done Iwa and Wiwa. I have. Okay, there we yeah, go. We got yeah. the Iwa, the Wiwa, Sowa's not real, and then we got Oregon. <laughs> Sowa's not real. Wait, what are they going to do? Lose a crew it's, battle about it? Like, like, like I guess it got Siwa, Sowa in there a little bit too. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Ooh, See, they, they're they hitting all points. I'm just kidding. I, I love you guys in Sowa. Uh, Always hold it down down there. It's just a slightly smaller region, right? Yeah. But they, they do great stuff down there. 
would love to come to your regionals. Uh, either way, though, this has been an awesome event so far. That event, that excuse me, that set. Obviously, it was a 3-0, but it's one of those that I call like a close 3-0. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it was very intense towards that last game there. Seesaw was kind of getting an edge there on Tickle, but it's just in a moment's notice, Tickle was able to get one interaction and just completely flip Seesaw on his head. Yeah, I thought Seesaw had that. I'm going to be real. I was like, as soon as that grab on the platform came out, I'm like, the he's in his head. Was it the double revenge with yeah. that up air? Ooh, that the was scary. It wasn't able to get it to connect. That felt so bad. It was just such a, like, the download complete moment. You know, like, a few years back, like, every time MK Leo would lose game one and then dumpster someone game two, the whole chat was just the download complete robot. Yeah. <laughs> Can we bring that back? I miss that one. There's yeah. so much spam in Twitch chat these days. Y'all, if you, if you ever want to make me happy at a major, hit the download complete. I love that stuff.